Kim Townsler here. Which one worked better on my gray hair that still had colorista in it? Sun bum, expensive, or sun in? Pretty cheap. Stick with me and we'll find out the results. Sun in versus sun bum. Which one will work better on my gray and black and brown and silver and white hair? Will either one work? Let's find out. I'm going to put sun in on the left side and sun bum on the right side. This is what my hair looked like when it was blondish. I actually achieved this with um, some L'Oreal hair color product remover around my face. I have a video up about how to put face framing highlights on that. And then I just started using sun in i think i used two bottles of sun in during the summer and got my hair to this color it did dry my hair out i did numerous videos on how to condition my hair but i really really like the blonde on it so i want to go back to that if i can the reason i'm putting the sun in on this side is because i have a very dark streak i've used sun in before to lighten my hair and it turned it blonde i had been using the sun bum for about two weeks on this little strip right here and I didn't see any change at all. Now that may be because I have too much colorista left on my hair. Colorista is a semi-permanent. I've got a lot of videos up about that. I can I will link those in the bottom if you care to watch them. So we're going to try sun in on this side and sun bomb on this side. See what it works. I know there's going to be some mixture on the back but hey it just what it is right. You get what you get don't pitch fit. There's my dark streak. Okay, I'm going to comb that through, or excuse me, I'm going to brush that through. Sun bum on my right side. I think I forgot to spray the sun in on the top part, so I'll go back and do that. You can see under here. That I don't have that dark streak over here. It's very dark on the top right here. Let me go back and spray some sun on the, on the top part. Mm, the sun in definitely smells better. They both have a similar smell, but the sun in smells a little bit more lemony. Now to blow dry. I know the sun in is activated by both the sun and blow dryer. I had thought that this would also be activated by the blow dryer, but I also put this on that little streak right here and went out in the sun, and I just couldn't see that it did anything. I'm not going to show you the whole blow drying. I'm just going to show you on this blow dryer. I'll just blow dry it. I'll try to dig up about this one. I'll be right back. This is after the first use of the sun in on this side and the sun bum on this side. I can tell that it's lightened it a little bit. Now what's going to happen is both of these have peroxide in it, which is not good for your hair. But my hair is gray and just all different colors. Right here, I have a really flat spot because my hair is just very, um, 
it's just flat. So this is going to help it like have some volume and texture and cover up that, that flat spot that I have to deal with all the time. So I like that. It is going to make my hair feel dried out uh, when I used the sun in before to make it blonde. My hair got really, really, really dry on the ends. And I thought perhaps if I grew the blonde out that my hair would not be so dry if I just let it go gray. That did not happen. It was less, less dry, but gray hair is just frizzy and dry, so I thought I might as well try to be blonde and gray, right? So this is after you swan. Here's the sun inside. Here's the sun bump side. This is day two. Um, my hair is still terrible like that. I'm going to, my hair is dry now. I'm going to spray my, this is day two. My hair is dry now. I'm just going to spray some on. Check in the text below this video and also in the pinned comment. I'll provide a link where you can buy this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link for your shopping. Thank you so very much. Blow dry it and set on the sun a little bit. I'm going to do this every day for a week and see what happens. This is nine days later. I remember I had the sun in on this. Remember I had the sun in on this side and the sun bum on this side. So I've been spraying it and blow drying it every day. I haven't been out in the sun that much. But I can tell that it's working. I had these very dark black hairs right up here. And I sprayed the sun bum like right on it, and I think it did lighten them. Uh, I still have a lot of coloring left on my hair, this um, colorista. But you can tell that my dark streak here, that the sun in definitely lightened that. The products definitely lightened the part in the back. I can't really tell where one product did better than the other one. I didn't spray it on very heavily on the bottoms because I was trying to make sure I had enough product to get me through the week, but I will continue with this experiment. Um, I have no product on my hair because putting product on my hair is going to make it um, look darker. So what do you think? I can, I can tell it's getting lighter. I still have a lot of purple and blue and peach like tint in my hair and it's going to take some time for that to come out. But which one I think worked the best? I can't really tell any difference between the two products. Peroxide dries my hair out, so my hair is drier. I do need to flat iron it and put some smoothing product on there. But for the price, I the sun in. really can't be beat for the price, unless you're just going to pay a whole bunch of money for less product. Now, the only advantage this one has, the spray bottle on this one is far superior than the spray bottle on this one. Other than that, sent in for the win. I didn't put any product on my hair, but I did just um, put a curling iron to it, so we can see that um, it does take the frizz out. I didn't put anything up here, so it's still going to be a little frizzy up there. But uh, my goal is to try to get less of the dark and more of the light, even if it's going to be like light brown to kind of blend in with um, whatever colors are going to remain on the gray. What do you think? I'm liking it. These are the before and after pictures. The red shirt are, pictures are going to be the before pictures. Those are going to be on the left and the after pictures are going to be on the right. It did not make a dramatic change after... Uh, about nine days of use. I'm going to have to use it a lot longer, but I, especially on the back part where the hair is darker, you can see that it started turning the blackish hair kind of a brownish color. I'm going to continue to use this and hopefully it's going to be blonde in another couple of weeks or so. It took me a while to get it blonde before, but I just wanted to see what would happen in a week with these and compare one side to the other. I was a little afraid that one product might work faster than the other one, so about nine days was all I was willing to commit. Thank you for watching my experiment with Sun Bum versus Sun In. Remember, it's free to give the video a thumbs up.
It's free to leave a comment below telling us if you've had experience, positive or negative, whether there's sun bum or sun in. It's going to help the other viewers make their decisions if they want to use either one of these products. If you're checking the text below, I'll provide a link on how you can get more information and purchase this product or this product or both if you want to do an experiment like mine. If you have time before you go, watch another video. And until we meet again, let's just help each other with ways to spend our money and lighten our hair if we choose to do so. Until we meet again, bye.